What's up, guys? Dad Dash back here with another ride along. I know it's been a little while, but I wanted to jump in here today. I thought, you know what? Why not uh, turn the camera on today? Let's see what happens and um, check things out. So, uh, full disclosure here, I did go out briefly earlier. I had to make a run to the store, and I got a $30 stack that I put together. Um, didn't get any footage from it. Didn't have my equipment or nothing. I just, just grabbed my phone and went and, you know, always take it with me whenever I'm going somewhere just in case. Um and uh, we ended up with a with a with a three order stack. Uh, one of them was Duncan's, and it was terrible, but I made it work. But we made thirty bucks, about thirty one, just under thirty one dollars in forty eight minutes. So that's already on the books today. Um, goal today is ninety seven ninety nine. That's my goal for on my sheet. I've already earned as of right now eight thousand one hundred dollars this year. I track each thousand. So my goal was to earn $1,000 as fast as possible or at a very minimum 10 days. That's my goal. That's what I'm looking for. My math works out that if I do that, I reach the goal this year, which my goal this year was to make 36 or generate 36,000 in gross income versus last year's 23,800. So I want a 12, I want almost a 50% increase over last year. Good news is we are on track to do that thus far. Hopefully we stay on track and things continue. But anyways, so where we're at right now, I am getting ready to uh, head out. I've got my phone. I'm logged into all the apps. I've got the phone of the evening uh, up, and that is going to be the S23 uh, Ultra. So we've got that, um, and um, we're ready to go. So we're logged into all the apps, DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats. I've got Instacart in the background. I've got... Uh, spark in the background we're in the rental still um so that's another reason why i haven't been filming because it's just more difficult to film in the rental because i don't have my all my rigs and everything that i normally have so and i don't have my hands free equipment so i may not be checking in as much because i have to be safe that's a you know that's a big reason because my phone has to be in my hand i was not able to find a a stand here for my phone or, or a place to put my phone. So anyways, those are all factors that are going on right now, but we're going to jump out here. We we need to earn $67.99 right now. Tonight, it's 3.30. It's about 3.30. Um, so um, I checked in earlier to the Dash. So our Dash officially starts in five minutes on DoorDash. The other two, of course, are just floating. I don't. We're not on any schedule for Grubhub. Uh, Uber Eats obviously has no schedule at all. So anyways, we'll see how quick we can earn the $67. If things are flowing good and going good and not slow, we may stay out for a little longer. We'll see what happens and see how well we do. Um, and then uh, tomorrow will be a much needed day off. So I'm really hoping to maybe go past that $97 and, and earn a little extra. Um, but uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see if, it, if the market dictates it because it has been very, very slow, very, very frustrating. And, uh, yeah, that's just what it is. Anyways, guys, well, let's get on the road. I'll be back to check in soon, show you the orders, uh, the first order we get, and uh, we'll go from there. Talk to you in a little bit. What's up, guys? So I wanted to just jump in here. I'm on my way to the center of the market, and uh, I just want to remind you, you know, there are these slow times, and again, there's debate out there whether or not these slow times are real or they're manufactured by DoorDash to try to get in our heads. But the bottom line is stay true to your strategy. Don't change it. If you're, whatever it is, you know, whatever you're willing to take, continue to decline, okay? Continue to decline whatever order you don't believe looks good. Don't sacrifice one, one ounce and you know, you will eventually, in my opinion, you will eventually get what you need, especially if you have multiple apps that you're working for. Just just stay vigilant and don't give in to these apps trying to break your will. So anyways, I just want to share that. Haven't got an order yet, but I'll be back. And just remember that, guys. Stay vigilant. Don't break your will. And decline what doesn't make sense. All right, guys, so Dad Dash back here. So I wanted to come in. I want to show you the setup here. Um, I, like I said, I don't have a holder, so I'm just kind of having to lay it down to show you. But this is what it looks like. Um, we've got the, um, you know, I've got DoorDash on top. Click Grubhub, it'll come up. Uber Eats. 
And then we've got the bubbles here. You can see the different ones. I can pop into the bubbles and see what's going on. Um, nothing going on, obviously, on uh, Instacart right now. But that's the setup, guys. That's what it looks like. So I'm waiting for an offer. Um, this is where I'm at. I figured I'd show you. There's Chili's, Five Guys, Walmart's over there. You got Del Sol Cafe out back in the distance. A couple of pizza restaurants beyond there. Cracker Barrel. Go over there. There's Martin's for Instacart orders. You got Firehouse Subs, Panera Bread, McDonald's, Chipotle. You figure something looks like we got something going on here. You can see how it works. Auto turn down, four seventy-five. So let's see what that. Let's let's go in there and check it out. All right. So let's see what the offer is. 475 Wendy's going 9.6 miles, 49 cents a mile. Terrible. Absolutely terrible, guys. Wow. Anyways, so yeah, let me I'll show you that's down in the Blaze Pizzas over there. I mean, you get a lot of options. When it gets busy, it'll be a good place to be. And then it's just a matter of selecting that right order to get out of here and start making some money, go in the right direction, and be around a place that I can make money at there you can see olive garden but olive garden is not on any of the platforms so anyways guys that's where we stand i'm still waiting hopefully we get something soon and uh when i do i'll come back and show you talk to you soon all right guys dad dash back here so after a very very long extended wait we did finally get an offer i even contacted the support today i'm in a hot zone i'm not getting orders and amazingly, they sent me a decent order as soon as I reached out to support and chat. I don't know if that had anything to do with it or if that was just serendipity and uh, uh, just uh, coincidence. But we got a 1025, I guess it was like six mile order uh, for Papa John's. I'll take it. It's delivered one pizza. But given what we were seeing out here until that moment, it ain't bad. And now we're getting pinged by Uber. So we'll check that out. Looks like it, it looks like it wasn't a decent offer. Uh, because my auto decline got it. So, anyways, that tells me everything I need to know about that. Anyways, guys, we're on our way over to Papa John's. I will uh, jump in with an update periodically, and we're good from there. First order of the day. Let's go get it done. All right, guys, little update here. Just want to jump in, give you a little update on what's going on. So, um, I'll flash it up here on the screen. As I'm leaving Papa John's, I get a 950 uh, 0.5 mile, literally right up the street, Chipotle order that I could add on. So it's the second time today I took a rider with a, with a, with a DoorDash order. Um, this order, DoorDash order, has to be delivered at 5.05, so you should always be aware of that. And I always note that at the very beginning. So right now we're looking at a 5.03 delivery time, so we're, we're well on our way. But anyways, we was able to get into Chipotle, pick it up, it was at a hotel, so I just dropped it off in the lobby for the customer, took a picture. Um, the, now the customer was... Hello. Um, yeah, uh, they asked for... Uh, it's for... Yeah, they wanted me to leave it here in the lobby. Yep, appreciate it. Thank you said they wanted me to meet them but they said leave it in the lobby so i made sure to take video and a photo with a time stamp and a gps stamp on it so that way if there's an issue later i can reach out the support send in the supporting documentation always do that so now we are about six minutes away from the doordash drop off um so should be dropping that off here shortly for 1025 so that will put us at 1975 for the length of time it takes a, it was going to take us to do the DoorDash order that's how you do it it's what you need to do in slow time so we made up for some of that wait time and then of course just as as it always seems and I have uh, my theories I believe that these apps can detect when you're working uh, Grubhub just jumps in two three orders hadn't heard from them one of them was not bad. It was 16.57 for nine miles for Logan Steakhouse, going to an area that is actually pretty decent on the weekends and has quite a few restaurants. Last Saturday, I made a lot of money. I made like 60 bucks in one hour last weekend uh, due to delivering Grubhub orders. Uh, with uh, It started out with a DoorDash order going into the area and then Grubhub picked me up and then it just boom, boom, boom. 
and I made like 60 bucks in about 65 minutes. It was great. And it saved my evening and uh, got me to $270 for today. So, um, real solid. You got to watch for that. But anyways, I couldn't do it because I was already on. I'd already picked up orders, so I had to turn them down. But anyways, so uh, we're about to get here to the drop-off. Um, and uh, I'll be back with an update soon. And like I said, we'll be booking $19.75 and about, uh, based on my estimation here, we'll be in about 35 minutes. So that ain't bad at all. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. All right, guys, so we successfully dropped off the DoorDash order, and then my 3.30 to 5 o'clock shift ended. So we're off briefly for, I schedule multiple shifts throughout the day, uh, just to make sure if I end up getting thrown out or whatever, that I always have the ability to get back on within a reasonable amount of time. I recommend you do the same exact thing. But anyways, uh, we go back on, well, we're available to go back on in six minutes, but I'm still active on Uber and um, Grubhub, so we're making our way back. By the time we get back in the hot zones, we should be available to click into our dash and get the DoorDash back in the mix. So uh, after this order, after that last, after delivering those two orders, we need about $47 um, to hit go. And then, like I said, our goal is to push a little bit past, as, or as far past as we can get, um, as long as it stays busy and warrants being out. Otherwise, once we hit goal, we call it. That's the way you got to do it. You got to have a goal for today. Don't get out here and get burned out. Don't get out here and sit out here in slow times and try to push past whatever goal it is you've set for today. Once you hit your goal, go home, rest up. You know, uh, but if it's good, if it's flowing, stay until it slows down then head home anyways guys i'll be back to talk to you once i get my next order talk to you soon all right guys dad dash back here so we got our first order uh of the next dash we got a 1725 12 mile order heading up to the uh, inwood market um which i'm okay with um so not a bad start for doordash um in my opinion now, while I was waiting on this order in Papa John's, I got a $15 five-mile order uh, for Uber for Logan's Steakhouse. I almost took it because I thought, you know, this screams extra tip, um, and this could be huge. I, you know, I may have made a mistake there. I should, maybe should have dropped this $17.25 order, rode over to Logan's, and seen what maybe DoorDash might have going in that direction, uh, or if it sent me something, you know, beyond. But anyways, I ended up sticking with it shortly thereafter. My pizzas came out. And I've got them in the car right back there in my brand new pizza Grubhub bag, which is an excellent pizza bag. I highly recommend it. Anyways, guys, let's get on the road. We've got a little bit of a journey ahead of us. We've got about a 15-minute ride. So we're going to go get this delivered and uh, see what see what comes next. That'll leave us needing about 30 bucks to hit goal. It'll be probably about 545 So we have plenty of dinner left here to knock that 30 bucks out and beyond. Talk to you soon. All right, guys, Dad Dash back here. So, got that order delivered for Papa John's. Um, went well, no extra pay or anything like that. It was 225 base pay for $15. I want you to note that 225 base pay, okay? And I told you this was an over 10 mile trip. Uh, so that's interesting to me. DoorDash, you know, obviously, I've gone back to this in previous videos and talked about how DoorDash, um, you know in their own pay documentation states that they're supposed to be paying out more for the longer mile trips now i do have the earn by time in my area i i've done it it's terrible uh, i i can't do it it's it's really really bad i've never done it during dinner or during a major time i probably should try to do that i've tr well actually that's not true i did try it but i always end up declining myself off because 
the miles are just too far, too long, and the tips have proven to be very, very low. So, you know, it's 12.50 in my area, and I can't make 12.50 an hour. That's not going to be that's not going to be good enough. And the tips are normally anywhere range from zero tip to about four dollars. And some of them are no tip. I've gotten I had a couple no tip. I had a couple low tip, and then you get a couple five dollar tips. Um, I don't know. It, was, it just wasn't very good. And if it's slow, I don't think it's going to work either because you're not getting paid to sit. You're getting paid when you're working. So if you're getting the lower tip orders, uh, you know, it just doesn't, the math doesn't make sense. But anyways, guys, that's where we stand on this. I'm hoping I'll get another order soon um, because I'm in an area that normally, last week, as I mentioned, uh, was humming. So I'm hoping that by the time we get down here near where all the restaurants are, this phone will start going off and I'll have another order to report to you. Uh, in the meantime, guys, we've got $30.44 left to hit our goal. Let's hope we get there fast, get that knocked out, and go from there. All right, guys, I'll be back as soon as I have something to report. I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, Dad Dash back here. So I don't know if it's because I contacted support and said, hey, you know, I, I mentioned in there, I said, I'm not getting orders. Uh, I'm in a hot zone. Take me off idle. And the guy, the guy said he was going to help me out. He never got back to me. And then all of a sudden, I got that Papa John's 10:25 for basically five miles. It was like six. It was like 5.8 or six miles. And then after that, I, you know, was, my dash ended, and I came back on and got that 17:25 order, which was for a pizza, one pizza, and some wings. And that was a $15 tip and 2.25. And then I just got this order on my way out of town. I'm on my way out. I get a 22, 25, 10 mile order. Right. And, um, I mean, I'm like, this is crazy. You know, basically it's two items. So this person's tipping clearly $20 and 225 base pay is what they're going to pay me. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, unless the base pay ends up being higher. So I don't know. Might be on to something here. If you go slow, contact support, see if they can help you out. Maybe there is, you know, something about where they put your account and they unlock it. But anyways, guys, this will only leave us $8 more to earn after we get done with this order. I'm going to run in here, pick up the order, and uh, get on the road. Talk to you soon. So Dad Dash back here. So got that order delivered. It was exactly what I said it would be. Twenty dollar tip, two twenty five base pay. Even though they were asking me to drive ten miles again. As soon as I got there, as soon as I I clicked submit, I got a fourteen dollar eight mile order for Walgreens to pick up ten items, ten easy items. Shouldn't take long to pick up at all. So I said, yeah, you know what, I'll do that because the way it's taken me, it's basically routing me back into the area I want to go to anyways and giving me the opportunity to make money. So again, I don't know if me contacting support, if they had the ability to put me back in queue or whatever, but I feel like I'm back in queue. I feel like I've been out of queue since I took time off. And this is the first night that I got back to, well, since then, that I got back to form of getting orders that had become what I thought was customary before I took about a two week hiatus off, well, it was about 10 days off. And then I came back from that and it's been absolutely horrible. So, I don't know, maybe it's just coincidence, whatever. This order puts us over uh, by about $6, our, our goal. So we'll be over a hundred bucks for today. And obviously, like I said, rule is we keep going until it slows down or till the allocated shift is over. So that's what we're going to do. We'll see if we keep getting orders. If not, we're, we'll begin heading in the direction of home. That's what I do. And if I start getting orders, I'll go the direction of the money. Anyways, guys, going to jump off here. I'll be back as soon as I uh, get done shopping this order. And um, I will uh, come back with an update. Talk to you soon. 
All right, guys, Dad Dash back here with an update, and man, let me tell you. Uh, turn right onto Old Martinsburg wow. Road. That's all I can right say. Turn right County Route 12. One is that. That is what I just went through is an example of why you must have multiple phone carrier phones if you're going to do this job. Because I got caught with AT and T, which is my main carrier. It's the main one I have all my phones through. I had to run out to my car, get my T-Mobile phone because the Xfinity phone wouldn't work. I have an Xfinity phone, I have a T-Mobile phone for times when I get into service issues. And in this case, I wasn't going to be able to go in. Wi-Fi right wasn't out offered to through Walgreens. And I was pretty much just screwed. But uh, the T-Mobile phone got me through. In fact, I'm using it right now because service is so bad up here. Um, but I was Continue able to use that route 12 over to complete the order miles. and get myself out of a jam and still book this $14. So uh, the shop itself wasn't bad. Um, I wasn't able to find two Dr. Peppers and I wasn't able to find two of the ribbon streamers. I, they only had two, two of, they wanted four of them and they only had two. So it is what it is. I'll get knocked for not filling the, you know, probably for not having a full 90% fill rate, but it is what it is. All right, guys, I'll be back to update you soon, let you know what the final payout is on this order, and let you know where things stand as we start now heading towards home since we hit our goal. Talk All right, guys, little update here. So got an order on my way back into town that's heading in the direction of my house. So I went ahead and snatched it up from a sushi restaurant I like. It's six items. Um, it was ready when I got there, so all things good with that getting very windy we have a wind warning right now going on in our area getting very windy out here so i guess it's a good time to quit it's about 7 45 so we're going to go get this delivered uh if anything comes up that's worth taking that's further in the direction of home i might consider taking it otherwise i'm going to power down the apps i believe i'm due off at 8 30 anyways so uh uh, obviously, I'll do a wrap-up when I get to my driveway. But anyways, guys, I'll be back to update you as soon as we get this order delivered. Go over what the final payout is. And as you can see, it's getting a little dark right now as well. So, uh, anyways, I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, Dad Dash here, and I'm coming to you with the final wrap-up, and I'm going to go over the, uh, well, I guess last time we talked, I picked up the uh, Asian Garden order for 1025 so we got that delivered, uh, no extra there. In fact, I'm going to I'm gonna point something out here in a minute that I think is quite interesting, but uh, no extra tip there, $8 uh, for the tip, $225 for the base pay. Um, and then I got a uh, Buffalo Wild Wings order and a place called Del Sol Cafe. So um, now I got that order because I, I decided I got on the phone with my wife. I, I was We were contemplating what we were going to do for dinner. Um, if I was going to pick something up on the way home or whatever. And I decided, I said, well, I'm just going to ride back towards the restaurants because we hadn't picked out where we were going to eat. And then while I'm on the phone with her, I got that order literally right to come right to my house i mean right right at the subdivision right down from where my my subdivision is and i said well you know what that's that decides what we're going to go to dinner we're going to go to an asian restaurant right near our house um and that'll be perfect so perfect final order for 17 dollars and 50 cents four dollar base pay 13.50 tip again no extra i noticed today um i did um only two uber eats orders we did a total of um, nine accepted contracts. Now, some of them were stacks, but seven of those were DoorDash, and we had not one. This first time, a very long time, I've had not one order had hidden tip. So maybe that's a sign of something here. Um, but I want to recap with you guys. Go over the final stats here for the evening. Pretty impressive, I think. Not bad. We hit our goal. Remember, the goal was ninety-seven ninety-nine for our journey to a thousand, and uh, drove one hundred and thirty-six mi miles though. Um, 
quite a bit of miles, um, unfortunately, but we hit our goal. So the only number that I don't like is the miles, but we it, 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 we were at 97 cents a mile. That's a, that, that's a lot less than what I like. I like to be at least $1.15 um, at a minimum, you know, uh, preferably around $1.50 to, to $2 a mile, somewhere in that range. Tonight, it was 97 cents. Um, and, you know, that, that, that obviously is going to cost us a little bit. Um, so we ended up with, uh, $132 and five cents in total. Um, counting the brief period of time I worked earlier today and what I was, I was out for about, um, I guess about 4.72 hours, 283 minutes. We delivered for 230 of those minutes for an 81% work rate. Our average order value for the time we were out looking for orders was $28 an hour. And our delivery order value was $34.45 an hour for an 81% work rate. You see how the numbers came in there, right? Above 25, so we came in above where we wanted to be at, 31 minutes in order. Like I said, Drove a little bit too much, too many miles, uh, unfortunately, but but uh, that's just sometimes what it is, right? Sometimes uh, we, we made it. Now, question you're going to ask, did we profit? So let's get into the profit breakdown. Final thing we'll look at, um, let's grab this here. So driving all those miles, 97 cents a mile, did we profit? What, what, what are we looking at? $132.05 gross revenue, $16.05 in taxes, $13.60 we got to set aside for the car fund, although I'm in a rental, so technically uh, I'm not really worried about setting it forward, but I'll, I still, I'm still putting it aside because that way it's like stacking money and not having to put nothing on my car. And then actual gas costs. So this is the important thing. Actual gas cost was $12.06. So all in all, we cleared $90.34 today in net money. Money we can spend confidently. So there it is. $90.34 on $132.05 gross revenue. Not too bad in my opinion. I mean, that's that. if you're working a W-2 job, you're going to have stuff coming out. Now, obviously, I still got to set aside for retirement and stuff like that, you know, and uh, my, my wife takes care of the health insurance, so I don't have to worry about setting aside for that, but, uh, you know, I mean, like I said, it's it's not bad. I mean, it, it, $90.34, not bad. So anyways, guys, that's what we got going on here. That was the shift. Um, overall, like I said, it's been very slow coming up to tonight. It was very slow at the beginning of the shift. And then I got on the chat with DoorDash and said, hey, I, I think you're idling me. I'm having problems. Can you check it out? Guy went in, checked it out, and magically, orders started coming in. And it felt just like it had been before I took my hiatus for two weeks when I was traveling and sick and doing things. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes going forward. See if it goes back to being slow, or we'll see what happens. I uh, Tomorrow, I don't believe I'm going to be out, um, and I'll be back at it again on Monday through Friday, and then next weekend I'm off Saturday, Sunday because of the holiday um, and football for my son. So that's where we stand, guys. Um, I'll be back you know, soon to drop some videos, go over some things. I've got some videos planned I want to put out. Trying to post a couple videos a week. Don't want to oversaturate you guys with too much dad dash. Um, and like I said, also, I'm just got a lot going on on my plate. So hopefully you enjoyed today's ride along. Hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully you saw what you got to do. Have a goal. When you get that goal, stay out till it's, till it's going well or until you get to the end. We stayed out to the end of my shift today. Pretty much the end. And, uh, hey, made almost uh, $40 more than what I was planning to make. Overdid the goal today. Can't ask for a better day than that. And uh, anyways, I'll be talking to you guys soon. As always, stay safe, stay profitable, and I'll talk to you soon.